they are so Alcum, they are so greedy. No, I'm every that too. single every single submission uh submission every dot on the map must be explored and make sure I, nothing is there. There's been so many I'm times I'm guilty. Hello everyone, welcome to Two Buds and One Podcast. I am the host. I am a host, the Techno Jelly, with my co-host here, Alcum. Over here live on his Twitch channel. And Alcum, once again, yeah. I have an opening question. And this is going to be very oh. obvious because it's it's something we've been doing together. Everyone's been doing together. I think Helldivers is an amazing game. Yes, it is. It is. It's, yeah, okay. The last time that I've had this same feeling with Helldivers is when I first played Deep Rock Galactic. It is almost like the perfect blend of all the things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there are differences no, no, no. between the games, but yeah. Yeah. I think it's like the no, I, best. One I of the get best. it. It's I get it because you're it doesn't give you them it literally just shoves you into an action pack tutorial. It's mm-hmm. just like yeah. do this, do that, or else you'll die. And if like they they show no mercy to you, you will die if you just don't do the simple objective. Yep. I swear mm-hmm. there's so many people I know who died to the turret. I, say, I'll admit, down, I'll, not get killed. I'll admit, Alcum, I died to the turrets. <laughs> though it's not because i didn't dive it's because i didn't realize when you hold down the alt button to dive if you hold it down you stand back up right again okay it's a tap you have so, to tap it once yeah so the learning curve is there honestly isn't really a big steep learning curve it's just a giant speed bump you just go right through it either at your pace or you can just go crashing through and eventually learn over time yeah and it just puts you right into the game, and it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, it is pretty I'm good. It is it. pretty good. Plus, <clears throat> because... the level of difficulty is just awesome. I love, I love the the the, the higher difficulty difficulties. For that yeah, game. yeah. I think the difference between medium and challenging is a little too drastic. Only oh, because, oh. only because chargers, chargers oh. for new players, are. I've done, I've learned a lot more and chargers aren't mm-hmm. that hard anymore. The problem is, is that it's very, in my opinion, not intuitive how to properly kill them because the legs are the weak point, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, 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 legs. no one tries to shoot the legs No, uh, that's playing new. They always go for headshots, which is like mm-hmm. a shooter's thing. Go for headshots, you know, but it's yeah. no, you target the legs. You blow open the legs and shoot those legs. And, yeah. like, once you realize that, you're like, oh, Chargers are actually one of the easiest big tanky guys to kill. Because you just wait until they stop moving, shoot the legs, and sh- blow blow the armor off with the legs, and then shoot the mm-hmm. legs. And then it's, like, super easy. Yeah. <clears throat> then you start running into the spitters or whatever you want to call them. I honestly, yeah, I honestly think those spitter things are the... They, I died to those more than the Biotitans. Mm-hmm. Like, hands down. Yeah, no, I died I, to that yeah, the most. I, I, I love how, like, level 1 through 3, it's fine. You're dealing with just the hunters and the guardians and uh, maybe the commanders. Those yeah. are, like, your biggest threat. Yeah. Sometimes you stalkers get a are, you Stalkers are pretty charger. nasty, too. Oh, yeah. That, what is it? Like, I think it's at, at level 4 and above. That's when you start seeing the, the uh, spitters and the chargers. And, see, once you run into the chargers, you're fine. Like you said, you learn what their weakness yeah. is. Yeah, once you learn, you learn how, how to, how to deal with the chargers. Yeah, once you learn how to deal with the chargers, they're they're sub they're a priority target still, but mm-hmm. like they're manageable. Spitters yeah. just walk up to you, spit on you, and then you die. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, while you're still killing them, they'll still just keep going at you. They don't flinch, they don't yeah. anything. Nothing really stops them. They they're like hell bent on spitting on you and yeah. then probably just explode. And worse, if you hit their backs and they explode mm. while they're near you, that's just gonna hit you and you're probably yeah. gonna die from it. So like yeah. die. Yeah, funny enough, I, I funny enough, I, don't. I run yeah. the the recoilless rifle a lot. Mm-hmm. I just shoot them with that, just to kill yeah, them because like, it just pops. Then I'm like, you know what? I don't even I don't even want to deal with this thing. Just I'm just gonna kill it right now. Yeah. I'm just here <coughs> with the auto cannon. I'm just shooting them once or twice in the yeah. face, sometimes three times in the body, and then then they finally yeah. go down. But man, they're a pain in the ass. Well, I run the recoilless rifle because I've been playing a lot of quick play recently, and I can't depend mm-hmm. on random quick play matchmaking yeah. to help me so yeah 
I need I need to be able to break the armor of the chargers myself. <laughs> and the, I mean the I auto cannon say, can do that, but it's definitely harder. I still say one of the worst things that you ever run into, even if they're not like high level, is just a group of hunters. Those little mini stalkers. Yeah. Those are mm. the worst. Once you're once you're surrounded by like three or four of them, and they got they caught you mid reload. <laughs> oh, you're done. Unless yeah. you got something like a grenade or something to help fend them off, it's a pain in the ass to deal with. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, all the bugs in themselves are pretty. They're they can mess you up. Even the basic ones. I normally just beat up the little the little tiny tick ones. I just punch them. Yeah, but the thing with the lighty, little tick way. ones is that you don't prioritize them a lot of the time. So eventually, mm -hmm. there's just like a lot of them, and they'll start hitting you because there's just so many uh, of them. Because you target other sorry. things, you prioritize other things over them. You know what I mean? Oh, no, I target those motherfuckers, especially when you <laughs> oh. <laughs> run into a small little scouting party. Yeah, and you yeah. just you kill everything. You think you kill everything, and then just like over a dune or over some rocks, you just see a little plume of smoke of one of them calling for reinforcements. And the next thing you know, you have a bug tunnel coming up uh, yeah. on you. Yep. It's like the worst. Thing. <clears throat> are they are they the ones that call the bug tunnels? Um, I've seen the ones, but the others I've... do too. Oh, okay, because I because it's one of those things where they do like this little dance thing, and there's a bug tunnel mm -hmm. underneath them, right? Yeah, I've seen the guardians do it. I've seen commanders do it. I've seen mostly they're the more they're the more common ones that do it, but the others oh, okay. can do it as well. Okay, which surprises me because sometimes I'm I'm fighting all of them. I kill all the tiny ones. I'm good, and then all of a sudden I see the commander with like yeah. one leg gone, his face shield is gone, <laughs> yeah. calling for reinforcements, and I'm like, you bitch! Yeah, I gotta fight all this, and <clears throat> and you know, he just dies laughing. Yep, pretty much. And then we get, and then we deal with the bio titans, and then like. I mean, honestly, I don't even think the bio titans are that big of a deal. Like they are a big deal. Don't get me wrong, but like, mm -hmm. there's, I think the what the other enemies have on the bio titans is you very rarely get surprised by a bio titan. You know what I mean? Like it's hard for yeah, a bio titan to sneak up on you, but like the chargers, the spitter guys, the stalkers, they all can just all of a sudden be there right in front of you. I love, yeah, I love it. I love that feeling where you're like, I cleared out everything. We're good, guys. We're good. And suddenly yeah. you get like sidelined by a target. You get target. silent. I think the best thing is when you're like, all right, I killed everything. And you get just ragdolled. To, like that one achievement, you get ragdolled 25 feet in oh, the yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. You, you just get up. You're like, what the? F what <clears throat> happened? You're all concussed and everything. Yep. And then you still you get up and you still see the charger that hit you coming back for some, for more. I'll say though, for me, I still I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't had experience just yet with the uh, with the Bile Titans. Although I do see the Railgun just making quick work of them, just two shotting them in the face. Oh yeah, the Railgun can two shot the leg armor. That's why. Yeah. Oh, the Railgun two. Oh. It two shots the leg armor and and it, it, or two shots the, to expose the leg. See, normally what I see is people expose the legs or expose like with a charger they expose the leg. Oh, and sorry, I just pull up you my said auto cannon and just pop yeah. their leg and they're gone. Did you say the railgun does well against the charger uh, or the bile titan? Sorry, you're right. You're but correct. It, it doesn't. It, it does. does I was charger. thinking. I I was thinking the charger, not the. No, because bile I remember too when we played oh, the, uh, over with on the, on Wednesday with yeah. Kisu and, Z, and Zeke, which you guys can catch on Wednesdays. Uh, shameless plug. Yeah. Uh, I remember, I remember they shot the leg off a charger. Yeah. They're like legs exposed. I immediately just pull out auto cannon, shoot that yep. bitch, and he just fell to the ground instantly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't move uh, with the, the leg. The railgun two shots the uh, leg armor, and the recoilless oh. rifle one shots the armor on the leg. Awesome. So now I know I can team up with Same. you for that. And if you're also, really low level, the anti the one shot anti tank gun also one shots the armor on the leg. Also, also I need to ask you this. I need that because I'm seeing people posting stuff. I'm seeing people talking about it. Are there really already missions that just randomly have the the uh, the uh, uh, what's it called vehicles that suddenly pop up or, or is people act, is that like are they hacking it or is it real? I've never seen it. Okay, because I I've seen people posting stuff. I've seen people showing gameplay of it where you have uh, vehicles that you can drive, fuck, you know, freaking mechs that are <clears> there. No. Because I saw one where it's a There's, video of a, they're not a couple there. of guys hopping into them. Okay. It's so either a like, mod or something else. <clears> it has to so be, but I'm like, damn, the modding community is quick. I mean, I'm so pretty sure... So cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the mechs and stuff are in, like, Helldivers 1, so they know what they are supposed to look like. 
mm-hmm. so they can make it very like realistic to what it's supposed to, what they're gonna be. So it wouldn't surprise me. I just want it now. I want to. Fl- mm. I want to pilot those mechs and fight bugs. I want to. Fl- oh, that looks mm. so cool. And I hope it is. I hope that's it. And it just got leaked early, or some people found X. I assume to, there's gonna be. It's gonna be like a new stratagem you can call down, right? Yeah, I hope so. Better be. Which is and interesting because that to... means you have to sacrifice your other stratagems to bring in vehicles. Yeah, exactly. Sense. Do you do you stick with <clears> the do you stick with your tried and true uh, either rail cannon strike? or 500 kg or do you bring in the mechs or at that point you might have to coordinate with your team because yeah <clears throat> i think one of them just basically summons for everyone or at least from what i saw but again those are i don't know if those are official those are leaks or i don't know i mean those that are de- there's a hundred percent either mods leak they're they're not official they're something but they're not official <laughs> i still also just love how this game just comes out Everyone just starts playing it, enjoying it. General word of mouth between gamers comes. People see gameplay, yeah. people like the gameplay, and people just go in and enjoy it. And that's it. It's not building well, on any the, hype. Yeah, it's the same thing as Deep Rock, how Deep Rock got so pop- mm-hmm. popular. Everyone just said this is one yeah. of the best co-op shooters in existence. Yep. Because, like, Deep Simple. Rock had zero, zero marketing. How did I ever see They had a little marketing, don't get me wrong, because Sony's backing yeah. it. And it's also it a PlayStation been... exclusive, so like Sony like benefits from marketing it. But like, and it's there still wasn't crazy amounts of marketing, you know. No, that's why it, it flew under my radar. I didn't realize it. I didn't notice that it was a thing until people started oh. to talk about. It. Then I looked at it and I was like, oh, oh, I see what everyone's all hyped up about. And yep. I started getting into it and I liked it. The funny thing is, is that I actually mm-hmm. own Hell Divers One, but I never mm-hmm. installed and played it. Because it was just one of those things I got for free. I either got gifted, I either got gifted it, or I won it in yeah. some giveaway thing. I was like, man, I'll play that someday. Oh. And then I just never did. But oh. there are some real hard, diehard fans of Helldivers 1. And now there's a bunch of them who are just diehard fans of Helldivers 2. Also, yeah, I'm going to say this, because this game was definitely going to have it last a bit if if they consistently bring out brand new things like already it's been what two months i think i don't remember when uh, the it's game only been like one came month out. it's been like one month it's it's only been one month and there's already updates to it because it has because mm. i mean we're getting vehicles already yeah i don't know how soon that's coming out though oh I mean, still for the process of they've already, <coughs> like I said, they've already shown some stuff, or at least they're they're working yeah. on stuff, and I'm happy about that. I don't know. Maybe they've oh. said so in their. Let me just check their yeah. Twitter real fast. Oh no, they posted stuff. The the devs, the actual devs, have posted that vehicles are on the way. Oh yeah, they. I know they're on the way, but I wonder if they ever gave like a time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Also, like the fact that this game simple premise, just going to these planets. Our 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 super Earth is under attack mm. from all these forces yeah and we've been either gaining or losing planets and it look and it's really cool yeah like, you're in a real war kind of yeah and they've even mentioned that there is someone kind of behind the wheels taking uh taking charge about how things are going what yeah. places are getting lost or what suddenly gets an upsurge in enemies yeah there is they they do have a, a person mm-hmm. behind that you know and now everyone knows who. Now everyone knows who to blame. Everyone's just gonna name one person <laughs> when everything goes south. But just blame the man, CEO. I do like that. That's cool. Because yeah. it just means that there is a roadmap, or at least there is. It's not like one thing set in stone. Like one person can, on the whim, make stuff change. Which I mean, I'm sure they could. Good and bad. I'm I'm sure like. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there could be, but. I don't see yeah. it being a one man thing, you know. True. No, I, th- I what I think is like it's just one man's <sighs> named right now. They only found one person, but or they named one person, but there are other people. Of course. At least from like what I see from people talking and people like releasing the information. <clears throat> oh. But I'm glad for it. It was like this is yeah. a cool game that I'm just gonna go crazy with, and I've been enjoying with everyone I get to play with. Oh yeah. And having a lot really of fun, fun with me and. Just, Hopefully, I'll be mm. honest. Probably after this, probably after the podcast, I'm I'm joining her with for Hell Divers too. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Hell Divers tonight with some. I I mean, the reason I own the game right. is an IRL friend bought me the game because 
he he wanted yeah. to play it really badly, and he wanted me to play with him really badly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he really enjoys the yeah. game. He really enjoys. Yeah, that, I'll, he really I'll enjoys the discretion. I, yep. I'm gonna see how I got it too. Just, but it's it's just so much fun. It it's gonna be yeah. one of those games that just everyone's gonna love. And I think this, uh, at least in my opinion, this is one of those games where it's like an EDF. It's like a. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah. Uh, or even like Deep Rock. Yeah, you can just always pick it up again and go back. It could be days, it could be weeks, it could be months. Your friend suddenly yeah. be like, "Yo, Hell Divers," you just go. I mean, go I think I think this, it's like one of those things where I know live service mm-hmm. is a bad term, but PVE cooperative games are what I think live service was designed for. Yeah, you pick them, play them, as, so. play play for a season. When they're when they're reasonably monetized, like it's like. Yeah, we're going to drop in, like, for Helldivers, mm-hmm. I- I'm sure after a while, you know, people will eventually get bored, you know? No one, no game, very few games can hold your attention for that long for yeah. many people. I have World. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, Power World is a different thing because it was an early access game, so it wasn't technically done. Yeah. That's a slightly different thing, but same, same GIF. I'm just saying in terms of, same GIF of the whole eventually everyone, <clears throat> like, gets tired of it for yeah. a while. But it's the perfect game of, like... Oh, a new season just dropped, or a new update just dropped, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh damn! Well, it's time to yeah. it's time it's time to dive again. It's time to hell dive again. It is. It's, it's just like Deep Rock. I I yeah, love exactly. Deep Rock, and I drop in every new season. I play for like a couple weeks. And I'm like, damn, that was a pretty good season. I'll maybe drop in every once in a while during in like mid season stuff or like events and stuff, mm-hmm. or just for fun. If, but the main thing is like, oh, can, I'm waiting for that new season. <clears throat> if they can be consistent with the updates. Like, the smartest thing they could possibly do is, over time, release new content yeah. in batches. Not it's like Not like a one new thing, one new thing, one new thing. Not, <coughs> I, don't, I don't think, like, consistently, like, uh, not like small trickles, but like every once in a while, like you said, drip feed. Every, you know, every couple, new yeah, every couple, every, I don't know about new faction, that that's a big deal, probably. But I think, I, mean, like, I think a new faction would be like a big thing, you know? Mm-hmm. But like new stratagems, new guns, yeah, new mission types, new objectives, exactly. new sub objectives, something that makes new, it refreshing and new, wants people to I, come back. Yeah, or new, makes people want to come back. New enemy types, new enemy types would mm-hmm. be a big thing too. Yeah, because I think a new faction, a new faction to me sounds like a, like a, like a, like a new season big deal thing. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's like, like that's like an event. Yeah. When you say new enemies, you're like talking about new terminids or new yeah, new automons, tournaments, right? new new automatons, yeah, like a new yeah. subclass of enemy. Yeah, I don't <clears throat> actually that would be nice too. That would be so refreshing and something new that I it, think it changes yeah. the game plan. I also think they can, I think it would be really cool if they added slightly different versions of the current enemies. Like, what if there are different types of chargers or different types of biology Stock types? Chargers. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know about oh, combine. I don't know about. Cool. I don't know about combining them. I mean, to be fair, that'd be a cool event. Be like, hey, the bugs have mutated, and now there's they're combining each other, and now there's like different types of the same ones, but like mutated. Go soldier, <laughs> you gotta fight for silver. <clears throat> Go soldier, fight the stalker bio titan. <laughs> also, oh, oh, because Mia was showing me this uh, earlier. I, I didn't pay that much attention because i was too busy fighting for managed democracy i didn't notice that yeah there is like lore or oh like, there's tons Super of Earth lore. is not as not as like you know well intentioned as any as they make themselves out to be it's a parody of really, starship troopers yeah it's literally parody it's starship literally troopers, pa- it's like and everything like come on guys we're we're not the good guys no, I mean the not, the Terranid the Terranids and the automatons aren't the good guys either but i don't think anyone's yeah. the good guys here no, no, we're all no, a slightly no. different version of bad guys. <clears throat> like we are a hundred percent a military dictatorship. Super Earth is a hundred percent a military dictatorship. Oh yeah, no, it's just that when history when in the history books, you know, hopefully Super Earth is the winner and we'll write the <clears throat> history books. Yeah, so we're the history the books, guys. so will the good guys. I just love that. The winners write the I history. I just love everything about that game. Is just everything is like propaganda. The the oh, beginning yeah. opening thing is the 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 helpful tips oh yeah they just tell you all that stuff it's great it's good it's good 
I still love the fact that once you get once you get to the higher levels, you've already fought all the toughest things, but let's just keep throwing them at you in mass over and over and you feel so overwhelmed, but when you actually make it through those odds, it feels so great. Oh yeah. Like somehow escaping the ship is the best escaping mm. on the ship is the best feeling with your mates. I mean I think I think one of the best things about the difficulty in my opinion is that um like it's not just increasing health it's just more enemies mm -hmm. more special they enemies they become bullet sponges yeah That's i mean a, some oh, of them some of, some of them are bullet sponges but they're bullet sponges no matter what i mean the yeah, bio no, no, no. the bio titans take a lot to take down yeah but like but it's not like it's not like the higher difficulties make them just have more hp no yeah. they're still the same it's just that they're putting more of them because there's just more three of, of them are, now hot zone of them yeah I love that because I got tired of games where it's like you're gonna fight tougher enemies. This is just a reskin of another of another enemy. It's, it's just, just it's got he has more HP. It's got times yeah. three the amount of health. And you, we just turned him into a bullet. So I remember that boss you fought at stage one. <clears throat> yeah, this you're fighting him again at st uh, level fifty. He just has more HP. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Have fun. I mean, there are some games I've actually Great. played a bunch of. There's a bunch of games that I've been playing or not playing, but I've been like keeping an eye on. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't remember what they're called now, unfortunately. Uh, but it, they're like single player Escape from Tarkov, basically. One's a one's a one's a top down uh, shooter that's kind of like Escape from Tarkov, and one's a first person shooter. They're both by indie game indie teams. And one interesting thing is the higher the, the higher the difficulty or the better the enemy, the more tools at the expo that the enemy has. So, for instance, okay. they're like they're like smarter. They'll take cover more often. They'll try to flank you. They'll try to throw grenades and stuff. <clears throat> well, yeah, it's not. And... So yeah. I I like I, I like I said I always felt the just more health thing was. I think lazy is the wrong word, but not interesting. I would say it's the lazy in terms of like development. And it stuff, depends. It is the lady. There are some times. I mean, you don't want to. You don't want to one shot hard enemies. True. But like, if that's the but, only thing you're doing, I feel like there's. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like it's like the Bio Titans, like they're not pushovers. No. Oh God, and like, no. And like. If they kill you falling over. <laughs> yeah, that is funny. I also do actually like the fact that the court the the bodies exist. It's you don't just phase through them. No, they're they're physically there, and the bigger <clears throat> ones can knock you over. Which, it it yeah, freaks me out sometimes. Fun. There's been a lot of times where I've realized that I've wasted so much ammo shooting already dead enemies because I just assume they're gonna despawn. Because it's just such a video game thing now that enemies despawn once they die. Yeah, that I'm just shooting the corpses. Just, this is something we as gamers got, got trained into. Just like how you mentioned earlier, we just shoot the head, even though like their weak point could be something far different. Yeah, like the legs or the the butt. Mm -hmm. No, I shot I shot all the bugs in the butt because of Deep Rock, because that's always the weak point in Deep Rock. True, <clears throat> you're right about that. Especially the oh god, I just remembered all the horrible stuff in Deep Rock. Deep Rock's good. Like Deep Rock, the new, the new season for Deep Rock is coming out soon. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna jump in there once the <clears> new <throat> season comes out and try and enjoy it again because that it is that fun. fun. It's one of those. It's fun with the right people. I, I would me, say. I would say Deep with the right people. Deep Rock is. I would consider say. <clears throat> I think the thing with Deep Rock for me is that you can solo Deep Rock a lot easier, so you don't mm -hmm. you don't need friends. For Deep Rock, but you need friends for Helldivers. Like you can't do that. I don't. I don't see no. any possibility of doing the higher difficulties. I, I, I tried playing Helldivers <clears throat> alone, like a ma a mission by myself. Oh, you get overwhelmed quick. I can only ever do easy. I've done a couple missions on easy on um on by myself because I was trying to do the, uh, the 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 mission things they give you. You might as well turn it into a stealth game because <clears throat> at that point you're going to be crawling around uh, yeah. avoiding every fight you can. Well, any 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 high definitely higher than easy. On easy, I was I was trying to do the flamethrower thing. We'd get a hundred kills with the flamethrower. Mm -hmm. So I was just walking around with the flamethrower, burning everything, <clears throat> and that was working. But I was on easy difficulty, so there wasn't that many enemies. So like doing, like even just two people. Like I play with my my Iron War friend. 
us yep. doing um, medium or medium is fine. Yep. But as soon as you crank it up to challenging and you're only two people, it is insane. So <clears throat> from what I've seen, you can do solo in level one. You can do... Uh, you can do, like, two players can go up to, like, the second difficulty and stuff. You can even do uh, the second difficulty solo <clears throat> if you're going to be yeah. stealthy. Level three, it's going to be a massive challenge for you doing solo. And two player, you can do it. It's just, <clears throat> it, eh, it'll which be a one's, challenge. Which one's three? And is three medium? I think three is three is normal. There's three no, is normal. It's like There's no difficulty one is, called normal, though. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, uh, I forget what it's called. It, forget the there's book. Trivial, which is like the trivial. tutorial. But no one, that's like the tutorial. So it's easy, normal, okay. medium, it's challenging. Trivial, no, yeah, it is. Trivial, trivial, easy, medium, challenging, hard, extreme, suicide mission, and impossible. Yeah. Or it's called Helldiver. Yeah. Or no, 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 it's, it's impossible and then Helldiver. Yeah. So, I don't know the number. Uh, yeah. I I've done up to challenging duo. Yeah, when you can do up to medium and do with duos, up to medium is okay. Four, which is challenging. <laughs> challenging you, you is quite it, challenging just, in duo. Yeah, you can do challenging in duo, but if you have spitters on your mission, then it's it's horrible. It's the worst. Though to be yeah, fair, it was also before I knew about know. the chargers. It was before I knew about the leg thing in chargers when uh, we did that, so chargers were a very hard thing for us to deal with. See, if you get a, if you get a challenging mission with chargers, mm. you should be fine if you both know what to do. Yeah. If you get spitters, on the other hand, it's gonna, it's possible. I mean, spitters is this, spitters, I feel like it's just gonna be a dice roll of, do you see the spitters first? Mm -hmm. Because if you yeah. see them first, you should be able to deal with them. The problem is if they sneak yeah. up on you, you're dead, basically. Yeah. I can't, I don't After know... That, I've noticed that I think if you dive right out of the way, you're act you they won't hit you pretty much. Yeah. But like but you need to dive right away. They're usually with a few people. They usually have yeah. a few bugs, yeah. and those bugs will just dog pile. They're up. very rarely alone. Yeah. And they so always seem to be. They always seem to. They always seem to ambush you when you're right beside a bush, so you can't run yeah. away. <laughs> it's like literally I, always right beside. You know, you're like I'm, oh. I don't know how they manage I, it, but they they spawn. I'm convinced right. they spawn a bush beside you when when they appear. You're right. Like I, every time I remember dealing with a, they're with always a, near a bush. Spitter, there's always a bush, and then when I get up, I'm like, come on, get out of the bush, and then they're yeah. all just dogpiling. I also don't know how, but all the bugs around them also somehow to it always injure your leg limb. It's always the leg limb. Like it's like this it's like this is perk. targeted. I'm this is targeted. One burk. I'm using the one perk that prevents you from getting damaged so much because yeah. no, I'm tired. I'm tired of my arms and legs being broken. <laughs> I Please. don't know, man. I really enjoy spawning with full ammo though, but that's also because yeah, I'm dying a lot. Maybe if I just yeah. maybe if I just stopped dying, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> and then after like after four, you need three to four people. You you have to like if oh, yeah. you're if you're gonna go past extreme. Then you're, you're I would have say to have hard. Four man squad. If you're going past hard, I would say you need four man. Four man, yeah, four. Man. I would say challenging that's, that's is good. probably the most you can do at two or three. Yeah. And, and if you're like, and if you're your like, squad. if you're max level and you have all the stuff and you know exactly what you're gonna do, maybe you can do mm -hmm. hard with three. Yep. I oh like oh, I'm, that's also I'm sure I I'm sure thing. I'm sure I'm gonna get proven wrong. Like I'm sure we're both gonna get proven wrong, and there's someone's gonna someone's go, gonna do someone's, someone's gonna, do gonna go crazy on solo. Yeah, someone's yeah. gonna do that. Obviously, I mean no yeah. one like in the same thing with deep in Deep Rock Galactic people do uh, solo hazard five missions all the time. I've seen people do solo yeah, hazard. Fun. I've seen people do solo hazard five no upgrades. Like people are crazy. Like people are crazy. They're so good. I guess people really like the challenge. Honestly, it's, I well, I mean, it's I, just the same thing of like speed running and stuff. What, the question why is because it's a challenge and it's like one of those things, you know? I suppose so. No, <clears throat> one of the other things. Oh yeah, that you you made me remember. You, you were talking about like high level and everything. I just remember one of the cool things about this game that I love is you don't need to reach max level to be useful at all. Like you oh, can yeah. start off as a level three, level four. The only, the only time is like when you're when you're level one, yeah, you do need to eventually get some uh, some <coughs> strategies. Yeah, and that's the main. But thing. once you start finding your, once you find the things you enjoy, like once you find the stratagems you like using, there you go. You're yeah. useful. You're fine. You're useful. Hell, at level at level one, you're fine as long as you can fire your gun. Yeah, I mean the thing that I would say the one downside you have with being low level 
is the machine gun is a good stratagem support weapon, but I would say it's definitely like low, like not as good as the other ones, you know? Like I would say that like the machine gun is good, but like it can't, it won't help you against things like chargers, you know? Yeah. Cause I think honestly the charger is like the biggest block between difficulties because once you start facing chargers you need to be like okay i need something that can break armor but you get that at level three which because the anti-tank the 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 anti-tank stratagem that's the one the it's one shot and that's it yeah like it's not that good but you get it every it's seven it's got a 70 second cooldown so you can get a lot of them Mm -hmm. so like you can you can kill chargers reasonably well with those things so it's like when so running into them constantly yeah yeah and if you're starting at level one, go doing going to challenging because challenging that's when chargers start spawning. Mm-hmm. And if you're level one and doing challenging difficulty, you're crazy. by your, by your, by yourself. Oh, okay. You're crazy. Yourself, you're, you're crazy. You're crazy. That was and if you're, like your and, you're, hate and you. if your friends are doing that, then your you. then your friends are either putting you in the deep end, hate you, or a combination of both. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's why I love it and. I know there's people saying there's there's a uh, there's a meta for what you have to mm. use. No, there isn't. Just shut up. I mean, there Just is, but you like. there is, but like there, but people are always going to be like that. Yeah, but people always say, I, "Oh, it's not numer, it's not like min maxed your stratagems," and and then I say, like, "How are you speaking like, to me? I have a voice chat off." <laughs> like, I'm level fifty. You're level two. You're level twenty. Uh, five hundred mm. kg is better. Plus, plus the uh, not meta. Plus the not correct armor. Plus, I, I, yeah. I, just, I just like my walking. Mm. I like my walking bombardment. Okay. Yeah. I love just throwing that bitch in, waiting for the two blasts nearby to go off, and then just walking in while the rest mm. of the explosions keep moving forward. It's awesome. I love it. <clears throat> I mean, I would say mm. that. I- I think meta only starts mattering after like when you get to like extreme and stuff like that. And I don't even I don't even know if meta matters. I f- I feel like it's just like it's like when we were playing with Zeke and Kisu. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. when we were doing the easier difficulties when I was super low level, like the easier yep. difficulties, I say that and it was like we were playing like on extreme or something like that. Yeah, we were on high level. We were ve- you the were only... we were ve- I like leveled up like four times on the, after the first mission <laughs> we, that we did. Yeah, the only time mm. we actually needed to make sure we had the right items were like the automaton because we needed to make sure we had stuff that pierced the their armor. Yeah, that was it. I I the the times we fought the robots is the only time I really did feel I feel felt like my low level was hindering because I really couldn't deal with anything but the main like the regular enemies. Like as, just, as soon as gun as, didn't do anything to those things. Well, it's not just, just it's not just autocannon. it's not just that is that I at the time I didn't have the any other stratagem other than orbital laser, or like not the just the the regular. I, I also didn't really know how to deal with the robots as well, so like I was also very wasteful. So I guess it is a combination of like me not being used to fighting the robots and other things, but like I think the biggest thing is that I didn't have a reliable way a reliable support weapon against the robots because the only support weapons oh. I had was the anti tank, the recoilers rifle, and the machine gun, and all gotcha. three of those were pretty bad against them. I mean, the recoilers rifle is good, but it's good against like the tank, and like yeah. the I can't remember what that mech thing is like the the bruiser thing. It's like a really big, it's like a beefy mech. It's got rockets on it. I can't remember what it's called now. I don't remember what it's called. Mm. <clears throat> but, yep. uh, and then, and the, uh, cause I actually really enjoy the grenade launcher. I, I'd run the grenade launcher more. Mm. Um, but the problem is since I've been playing quick play so often, I can't depend on my teammates to have good things against other things so i you kind of have to be a little more are you the carry are you like playing like you're the carry no i'm playing like my teammates will never ever help me because i can't i can't guarantee that they will yeah it's not i'm not i'm not saying this as like as like trying to offend people that are playing quick play and stuff like that but like people that are playing people that are playing quick play are generally 
not as a team player as if I was playing with like you guys. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's actually there's been actually been there's actually been very there's been multiple times where mm-hmm. I'm walking around and someone throws down a uh, shield pack like a shield uh, support thing and just spam pings it for me to pick it up. So like there are very helpful <laughs> players. There's also one yeah. player that literally typed uh that little literally typed to uh, there's a literally typing is again like uh uh i brought a rail gun for you guys to use not for me because he already he brought something else but he wanted other people to use the rail gun so he could so we could kill chargers and stuff easily oh uh, okay okay and okay. like there's a lot of people that are there's a lot of people that do help are helpful but there are other players that just walk in a random direction doing their own thing you know <laughs> yeah no i get that which isn't total which isn't bad i mean honestly in harder difficulties it sometimes feels like you should split up sometimes mm-hmm. because there's oh, yeah, so no. much there's just so most, if you yeah. want to get the most stuff you kind of just need to split up at least mm-hmm. in duos when you're in a full four man so you can start doing all the uh, outposts and like the side objectives and stuff <clears throat> but i only play i i only recently started playing on challenging in quick play because i just didn't i'm like i I need to be able to handle myself before I can jump into quick play, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm also a weird type of player because I want to, uh, you know, I feel like that is not the sentiment of other players. But, I mean, it's also one of those things where, I mean, I haven't really run into anyone that was super toxic anyway. To be fair, I don't play with voice chat. I have it off. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if they're just like, being toxic in voice chat but generally when someone's talking in voice chat you can tell by their gameplay of how they're acting generally yeah generally you can but also i have seen besides maybe some players like i said who take the meta seriously i haven't run into anyone like that i've seen people say there are there are people like that i will take them at face value but everyone i ever have gotten to play with or even done randomly sometimes they're all just ready to play, ready to do stuff. There's only a few people who like are like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go off there. And but in a team objective game, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. They're not getting everyone killed. They're not yeah. getting the team wiped. They're doing an objective way off in the distance and then coming back to join us. In the end, we're all winning because the objective gets completed, and that's good. The only time I've uh, the only time I've ever heard is people just being jackasses about like super hard difficulty. Yeah, you may not have the right items, but I mean, to be I fair, don't... I don't see I don't see why anyone is trying to do matchmaking lobbies on super high difficulties. I think you yeah. just I think you need to look inwards and say why don't I have any friends? Because uh, I think there's a reason for that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, holy, like holy well. Jelly's toxic confirmed. I am. I am. In, yes, in game they are the most polite person on stream, on in game, and everything. But but like off stream, if you just catch them in the voice chat off stream, <laughs> they, they are like the most. Uh, they don't swear, but they they say stuff that hurts you, like deep down. Look, sometimes you just gotta look inwards before you look outwards. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Jelly is the type of person who would get, who would like have someone insulting them and just like ripping them a new one they just stand there stoically and then look at them and be like are you okay then the other person just stunned like, <laughs> am, I, am i okay am i okay the answer is probably no because no one's okay but that's you know that's kind <laughs> of like more of that's like more of a unfortunate sign of the times than anything else yeah hmm. i know that's <clears throat> <laughs> no okay no one's okay this no is why we okay. play this is why we game <laughs> um i'm so looking forward to all the stuff the future stuff for this game because it's oh, yeah. still so much fun i mean another thing is, is that we were talking about like the whole leveling system i like i'm mm-hmm. so glad that i don't have to grind for small numerical upgrades on the same gun i am so done with that I think Dark Tide no, was the yeah. last oh, game. Dark God. Dark Tide has killed any wanting of stuff for that because Dark Tide was so bad for it, in my opinion. It still oh. is, and I'm just like, oh my god, this gun is going to be as good as it is at any point. Mm-hmm. 
And it's I'm gonna, like, oh and my it's god. It's not going to change how it plays. It's going to be the same gun. It still will <clears throat> pew pew yeah. in the same method. It still does the same thing. I mean, it didn't change. Yeah. I'm, other than no. like, other than like, you know, maybe balance changes if something's too strong or something's too weak. I'd prefer yeah. if they're ever going to do a balance update, I'd rather them make things better than make other things mm -hmm. worse. Yeah. Especially in a PvE game where you don't really have to care. It's more about is the, it fun than is it balanced. Because I mean, there's exactly. always going to be there's always going to be a better option, or like yeah. a better. Like, there's always going to be the best. But it's more about how is the stuff that's not the best comparatively. Is it super not good, or is it just like, eh? I mean, you can take it or leave it. Because mm -hmm. I think I think the best thing is like because you know there's always going to be people that are crunching the numbers, and it has a yeah. this is the best build. This is the best four man setup for Hell Diver difficulty, you know. But it's like one of those but things is it where the only build. Yeah, but that's the thing. Is it the only build? Because if it's the only build, then I think there's a problem. Yeah. You know, I'm like, okay, then uh, these can... things aren't good enough to be on Helldiver difficulty. Or I, it's also, I guess, what's the question is: is what do the game devs think they should be balancing around? Should are they balancing around Helldiver difficulty? I I personally say no. They should probably be mm -hmm. They should probably be balancing around either hard. I think challenging is probably too easy. I think it's probably hard or the one above that because that's when all the enemies spawn. Yeah. Because, like, when all the enemies are in play, I think that's the difficulty you could talk about. Because, like, challenging, sure, charters are difficult, but, like, biotines don't spawn in challenging, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think they start spawning in hard, if I yeah. remember correctly. So, like, it, um... I would say hard is probably, like, where you should be considered, okay, like, is stuff too weak? Mm, but... I don't remember. Oh yeah, you're right. Challenge in level three, normal or medium. That's when you. That's when you have the mission for the charger. At level four, yes. you have the mission for the bio titan. Yes. And after level four, that's after, when bio titan. Yeah. At, at level five, bio titans just become an enemy that can be there. Yeah. Because at, at, at level, level six, seven, and eight, they they, they like spawn will, they, they will be there. It's just how many will be there at one time. So I would I've say probably seen... level five is challenge challenge uh, oh my gosh let me restart this sentence <laughs> difficulty five is what probably i would say is the best way to say okay how is the balance but i'm not trying to say balance because when people talk about balancing they get very scared because <clears throat> i'm not talking about balance in a traditional like league of legends or valorant or counter-strike or overwatch style I'm saying when I talk about balances, can you take things into this difficulty? Because, like, in my opinion, I would still say, like, the machine gun and the orbital strike, the two things you get at the very beginning at level one, I think you could reasonably bring it in in challenge difficulty five. Oh, no, there's so with a full of... team. With a full team. I think, yeah. I, honestly, I still ha I have never not used that orbital strike. I think it is yeah. honestly one of the most consistent and most reliable ones. Oh no, the orbital strike is amazing. It's when you start yeah. getting the yeah. perks, especially like, yeah, in yeah. your ship, to make it come down faster. Oh, it's so good. I mean, it's really I've good. Seen, I've seen this video where a guy basically just used an orbital strike because he got <coughs> the perks to make it shoot down instantly or like within a few seconds. Yeah, I don't... a charger coming at him, plants the plants the orbital strike right in front of him as the charger's coming at him. Does a little hug stance, and <laughs> as the charger's about to tackle him, the orbital strike comes down and takes out the charger, yeah. and he just stops right in front of the guy who's still doing the emo. And <laughs> it's the, great. I love that, and yeah. it just shows you the orbital strike is still very, very viable. Yeah, so even so, once you get better upgrades, it becomes even better. Yeah, and like even things like the machine gun, the machine gun on mm -hmm. higher difficulties where there's so many small enemy, like regular, like because this isn't the big higher difficulties. It's not just that all the big enemies there is there's also with the big enemies just 40 other small enemies underneath them also charging you yep and it's like the it's machine just... gun make just makes mincemeat of those guys now to exactly. be fair you have to have a team set up around it because if you only have machine guns you're screwed but if you only ever have one thing with any of them i think you're screwed exactly because you can bring that all will. four rail guns and i don't think that's good i think you need some more diversity because the railgun's good, but it does nothing against hordes. Exactly. Like, and what I love, like you, like I mentioned, you could power up the other yeah. stratagems, like the, any of the any of the auto cannon stuff. 
you power them up where they have additional yeah. defenses, additional uh, ammo. Yeah. And I think one of the later ones is you can, it speeds up the turning <laughs> radius of them, like aiming. So oh, the sentries? they become yeah. far more reliable. Yeah. yeah, the sentries. I, love I still get PTSD from your your mortar sentry, so I I I, I haven't yeah. bought I haven't bought any of the sentries purely because I'm I'm scarred for life. Uh, I, yeah, I was like I was like um, every time I plant a mortar, I'm just like guys, heads up, mortar. It's not for, it's not even for our it's not for it's just literally for our safety, just to make <laughs> sure that there's no bugs near you. And if you see a bug near you, run. One of the more interesting things is I see a lot of people in quick play matchmaking using the the laser beam uh robot the 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 dog i can't remember what's oh, i think the it's rover the hover dog rover thing yeah yeah the, i have died the guard dog. i i have died to the guard dog so many times alcum like yeah. that guard dog like it 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 tears through don't get because, me wrong because it because but man it's, if it's but just man if it get, if you get in the way launch. Yeah. yeah, because it's just a straight laser. It doesn't pause. It doesn't do it. It just literally lasers. And when it's turning, it just does a straight turn. And whatever's in front of it just gets lasered, including you. Yep. Can I? I'm gonna. Admit, I'm gonna admit something yeah. to you, Alcom, and it's a little shameful. When I oh. join in quick play lobbies, and I see yeah. someone running the mines, I leave. I. <laughs> <laughs> I leave. I don't. I I return to ship when I see someone running the mines. <laughs> why do they just not do good placement or have you it's had not memories? it's not about it being bad it's that with zero coordination and no voice chat i have no idea when they put it down and i always run and die to them and i think some people are putting them down like i do think people aren't that good right now at trying to you know place Their them strategically placement. Like, yeah. they put them in places... I mean, the one problem I have with the mines is one of the best yeah. things you have against the bugs is that, yeah. generally, you're faster than them. True. Uh, it obviously ranged as well, but, like, the, being able to move around and outmaneuver the bugs is a big part of kiting them. And when you... And, unfortunately, in random... In quick play lobbies, the mines... Sh shrink in the battle there. they shrink in the battlefield and there isn't enough coordination i'd argue there isn't enough coordination even in voice chat lo and like if i even had voice chat on and stuff like that i just don't think i okay, don't I'd think argue i can see the incendiary ones but the incendiary the, ones. You're right. the normal ones i can't see <clears throat> they're, they're practically invisible yeah the, i also see a lot of people use them offensively like they try to like get the minds to blow up right away and that's just not how you there i like I understand the sentries and all that type of stuff. They can be used offensively. Don't get me wrong, but the mines have to, they they are a defensive tool. You have to like it's a defensive tool, and I can I don't know how you'd use them offensively. Good people have tried, and it's not good. But yeah, that that's my shameful thing. I leave I leave quick play. I if I join matchmaking and I see someone running the mines, I leave and wait a few seconds and then try to re and then requeue. I. <sighs> Sorry, my, I was trying to wrap my brain around the thought of using them offensively, and the only thing I can ever think of is just tossing them, yeah, tossing the mines over <clears> to where <throat> a bunch of the bugs are or a bunch of the bots are, yeah, and, try and to, just hoping and praying that they kind of just run and into And you them. try to bait them into them, yeah. The problem is, is that in theory, that does work, but in practice, yeah. in practice, one, there's a chance they just don't, and mm -hmm. two, almost always, it's... You're trying to throw the mines in some place that you also want to go. So even I if just... you... What? Go on, I just remembered I... something. I was going to say, even if you do eventually bait them in, they're very rarely going to kill all the mines, or they're very rarely going to trigger all of them. So there's still mines there where you want to go. There's a time where I literally died four times in a row to my teammates' mines. And this is the reason why. There was this one time in Quick Play that... I think both my teammates were running the mines and we ran out of, uh, we didn't lose the mission, but we ran out of, um, the respawns the re reinforcements, the yeah. reinforcements because we all mm -hmm. kept dying to the mines. Like it wasn't just, it wasn't just me dying over and over again. They were killing themselves in their own minefields. So like they forgot where they put the mines and they just died to them. It's like, it's like, guys, if you're killing yourself with your own thing, I think there's maybe you shouldn't bring it next time. <laughs> You just remind me of the, the little, uh, the Tesla coil that, that has a good kill count of its own.
It was like every time we ever did a mission where we had those little things, everyone just forgets. Just, we just seem to have amnesia when it comes to the placement of the yeah. Tesla coil. And we just run by and then just get zapped. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> Yeah, like it's it always worse happens when we get respawn right <laughs> next to it, and there, you just have to immediately dive to the ground or die. Yeah, like, I was gonna get down, get down. Oh, yeah. you didn't get down. So I was gonna. So this was also gonna segue into the thing of where the only, the only somewhat. I don't know if this is toxic or not. I guess we'll we'll we'll. I'll lead you to. I'll, I'll pose this question. Let me give you. Let me paint a scenario for you, Alcum. Okay. Oh. You join a lobby, right? Four people, yeah, yeah. four people, max lobby. You all doing the mission. Mission's doing fine. Mm -hmm. You die. Uh, someone dies. Unlucky. Everyone's fighting their own battles, so they can't respawn them right away. Yeah, yeah. The battle lasts for like three minutes. It's still going yeah. on. We, they, you know, arguably, there's been some times where you could have, you could have snuck out a reinforcement. You could have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Said per feel like I know where this said is person going. types no respawn leaves is that toxic um, or like they, they say respawn me nothing happens they say why no respawn then leaves is that toxic i would say nah i mean it depends it also like it, it's situational it it's very it situational really is. i personally don't think it's very toxic one because i mean like if if the game if the game handled difficulty differently like if the amount mm -hmm. of people in the mission mattered for what the difficulty was I think it would matter then. But yeah. since the difficulty is set no matter what, and it'll be just as difficult no matter how many players there are, yeah. I can see their frustration. I know I've been there in, in random lobbies where mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, these guys could have respawned me, yeah. reinforced me like three times, but they chose, they either forgot, didn't realize I was dead or. And that happens. <clears throat> that does happen. I'll admit it happens. You forget because you're in the heat of all yeah. this craziness. And then once you're done, you have that like, post uh post battle kind mm. of fatigue you're like yeah oh, we're good we're done how's <laughs> yeah. all our stuff and only then when you're checking yourself checking your ammo and, and you realize someone's then dead you think about who's still alive or who's yeah. not and uh sometimes you don't just don't mm. notice like yeah. i know that happened with us sometimes with like the three of the four of oh, us yeah. we had those moments but i also saw the uh, the odds that they were stacked up against yeah. so i'm like okay i can understand why you can't do it yeah i mean there you can't always do the reinforce especially as mm -hmm. i mean like you could say get good but like doing mm -hmm. those inputs under pressure is a big deal and it's it's a big <laughs> it's it's a big skill check can you do it mm -hmm. under pressure and exactly. sometimes sometimes i would say it's better for you to just not die than try to do it Exactly. Or yeah. do an easier one to just clear the enemies faster. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the 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 right right up for the orbital strike, I could do that in an instant. Can I do the respawn run in okay. like as fast? No. So I would if in, a, in like a high tense scenario, I would choose to call down the orbital strike just to kill the enemies quicker, so I can yeah, respawn. Give you breathing room. Give, give yeah, give you breathing room before I never do the respawn. Yeah. So yeah, I I've encountered players like that before. Uh, else? either similar or kind of like that. I do. I have also found a lot of uh, one or two players that spam the reminder of reinforce, mm -hmm. which I don't mind. I don't think that's necessarily talking. I do feel like some players really actually do need to remind, like, hey, someone's dead. You should respond to me. Yeah, and <laughs> I get if if it's been like in your scenario, if it's been a full three minutes, no action. They've actually been oh, able yeah. to trick If there's if there's no like, action, I I hit that space bar. If there's no action, yeah. I hit I hit that reminder. I'm like, hey guys. I'm like, yo, bring me back in. I came to help you guys out. Yeah, it's if like, you guys hey guys, want people to join in? Make a private game. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I've also found some odd behaviors in matchmaking lobbies i get how so one of the weirdest ones one of the weirder ones in my opinion was um okay i think it was okay this one is weird just because i think the guy didn't realize how it worked because uh he joined and we were fighting the bugs and then he said in he said in the text chat, "Oh, I don't want to fight bugs." And then just left. I was like, "It's very hard. How did you queue? It's it's very. It tells you very obviously. 
it tells you very obviously what enemy type you are fighting. I don't know how this happened by accident, but whatever, man. <laughs> Did he just uh, either either they joined a friend and they didn't check the planet or maybe I normally, don't know. normally it's it's really hard. The planets that you join. Yeah. It's really hard. In my opinion, it is really hard to queue for the wrong enemy type because they're literally on the opposite sides of the galaxy map. Like, how do you accidentally click on the opposite ends of the galaxy map? One is yellow, one is red. How how, how is that? So I mean, the colors, understand? the colors, the colors can be thing. I mean, people there is color blindness and stuff like that. He could, yeah, for some people, it could be. Right. Like, but yeah, like I said, they're literally on opposite sides. Uh, but yeah, so that was that was a funny one. That was a funny one. Another odd behavior I've I've encountered. Are. Okay. Actually, this is this is a this is a thing where I don't know if I was in the wrong or not. So, do you know the sub objective, the artillery one, the artillery piece sub objective? Yeah, I brought into it a few times. Yeah. Do you know if there is more than necessary ammunition that spawns? Yes, there is. There usually is. Um, it's is it not always? It's, I'll just say it's not always hundred percent, right? Sometimes there is yeah, only exactly right. enough. Yeah. Because I have had a couple people. Um, when I'm not loading in like the explosive stuff, they like viciously shake side to side, say, don't do, no, don't do that. I'm like, dude, we've looked all around. This is the only piece. Yeah. Like, you just need to put in five. Just yeah. do it. There's it's... only five. Like we cannot find anything. And we, I don't think we should care that much about a side objective. So I've I seen a couple of players that... following up that though. Yeah. No, but once you're done, I need to ask you one follow up question there. Um, so... I think, I think I was done. Go ahead. Okay, in this in these scenarios that you remember, yeah, did anyone actually use the damn thing? Oh, I mean that's a little unfair because I always use it. Okay, no, I no, always no, no, use no. it. Not you. Randoms, Not you. randoms never it. use it. Randoms never use it. The people they in quick play care. Yeah, people in quick play lobbies. They I've always they've never used like the objective stuff that we get. Yeah, they they literally. I, I've seen it, and I've seen it with some friends of mine. But we play, we're like, we're like, no, we gotta make sure it's all napalm. We gotta make sure the nuke, the mini yeah. nuke, has to go in there. And then, and then in the end, we're finishing the mission. And We've never used it. We never used it. I use it. Like, I, 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 I arguably use it too much. Uh, there's a nuke. I'm using the nuke at least. I've never. I didn't know there was a nuke one. Yeah, Honestly. there's one that says mini nuke. Is it the black one? It's a, it's a yellow one. Oh, it's the yellow one. Huh. It's there's two yellow ones. One says smoke and one says mini nuke. Oh, see, I know the red one is explosive, and mm -hmm. there, I think there's a blue one that's static or something like that. Yep. Yeah. There's there's a static. It's when smoke, I put a. It's when I put. And the it's when fire. I put a static one in. They were shaking their heads oh. in. Static is so oh. useful, especially. When I will say, like, static uh, is the one that stuns everything, isn't it? So like. Mm -hmm. It's slows pretty useful. People, it slows bots, slows robots, <clears throat> and bugs down, so you can actually wipe them out. But, but yeah, no, it's I, it's it's very funny that you are correct though. All the people that really cared about which ammunition we were putting, they never called it down. Mm -hmm. Which it's is a, funny. It's one of the things that was always hilarious to me because people people complained, people got mad, people argued. It was like, no, you got to make sure you use this, and then in the yeah. end, we never use them. You never use it. So it's just like, shut up, just put in whatever, get the objective done. We're not even going to use this bitch. Let's go. <coughs> I've also found, and, I don't know, I don't know if I to categorize this as strange, but I've also f found a lot of players that don't like using the hell bombs for like destroying the rogue facility stuff. They I, just call in their own electricity strikes, which I mean, I mean, I think that's just a give or take because the yeah. hell bomb is like more of a thing. Uh, because you have to like make sure it's properly set up and all that type of stuff, from when yeah. from my knowledge, because you have to like set it up, don't you? Yeah. And I tend to be one of those fifty fifty. If I have the if I have a strategy that I can just instantly call and kill it, then yeah. I do. It. If I don't, I don't, and I call the hell bomb. Yeah. I <clears> like hell. Or if I have the orbital strike, the precise orbital strike, I just oh, throw yeah. the precise I mean, that, orbital strike. I mean on. that thing kills everything. So. Mm -hmm. So I think I still one think of one of the air, walk away. Yeah, I still think one of the coolest things is killing the bug holes with your with your stratagems instead of actually just chucking a grenade <laughs> in there. It's really cool. I love that. I, I love that I find out new things all the time in that game. 
like using yeah. the orbital mm. strike on it like uh the the automaton bases you can actually destroy with an auto cannon at the door and i didn't even know that once a door's open you can <clears> yeah. throw a grenade at the door when it's open I you know the know funny that. thing is alchem the first time we played the when we played together with kisu yeah. and zeke the first time that happened to me the door opened i threw a grenade in it and uh it, it blew up i, I did that. i didn't realize that was the the like the cool way to do it i didn't realize that like two little holes above in the buildings was the normal way like I, the two chimneys playing... that you can throw down yeah i didn't know I that, was, that the normal was the only way. way i thought no i i thought i didn't know about the two chimney things because i did it through the door the first time so when we were playing that mission i was waiting for the door to open every time <laughs> i honestly thought it, i didn't know the door was a thing if i knew that was a thing i could just auto auto cannon it from a yeah, while because it's, it's any any explosion damage basically right it's so good and i love that there's <clears throat> all these small little things that you can do that, can buy that <clears throat> that's just speeds up the process Exactly. It's honestly why That's I really so like the fun. grenade launcher because the grenade launcher just makes outposts of both kinds super easy. Mm -hmm. I also do kind of like like just like the basicness of they turned every mission to a small open world game. Like every time I every time we do a mission, I'm like, man, it feels like I'm playing like when Witcher Three first came out, and I was like, ooh, <laughs> yeah, look at all these right, look at, look at all these white question marks that I can go around the map and look. It's like every mission is that basically. You can choose to go to every single one if you want to, or if time if the time uh, is short, just be like, nope, we gotta skip some stuff. I do also like Although, the time limit is a soft time limit. Yeah. Like you don't technically fail the mission if you exceed the I time limit. I thought that originally. Yeah. It's just it's just yeah. Oh, it's just all the stratagems are gone. Because mm -hmm. there's been there's been a couple times because I I might okay okay. Everyone, uh, this is a PS PSA to everyone in Quick Play. You guys are way too greedy, and you need to stop. This is a this is this is actually a uh, what's that? Inter this is an intervention. You guys are gambling addicts. You need to stop. You guys are pushing the fact that we have forty minutes. Holy cow! They are so Alcum. They are so greedy. No, I'm kidding. Every about that too. single every single submission. Uh, Submission every dot on the map must be explored and make sure I, nothing is there. There's been so many I'm times. I'm guilty. <clears throat> yeah, everyone is a little bit, but I'm like, oh my god, guys, we are, we have two minutes left, and <laughs> we've, like, like guys, we should there's, go to extract. We have two. There's minutes two left. minutes left. We got one little blue objective at the top left corner. We wiped out everything else, and the blue objective is on the other side of the map. We can make it. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. It's going to be even worse when when vehicles are the thing and you can like go across the map uh, more fast. I, Though I wonder I, so I wonder I wonder if they're going to the maps are going to get bigger uh, when, That's what I was when vehicles are involved. Cuz I feel Either like the maps the map? I mean, I feel like the maps aren't going to be small for vehicles, but depending on how fast the vehicles are, it's definitely going to make traveling e easier. Or yeah, harder, but then again, there is actually a lot of minefields on the map, like, just, like, naturally. So I don't know, maybe it'd be a downside to, like, go try to go speedy rate, because you could just blow up your own vehicle, right? I wonder if we could just run over some bugs. I know some some you'll definitely yeah. crash into, but I wonder... Like, the I mean, you definitely could. Is. You definitely could kill the small ones, at least. Yeah. It also depends on what vehicles. Like, I'm sure you could run over some of the, like, the medium-sized one, if you have, like, a tank or something, mm -hmm. at, at a decent speed. It also, uh, it also depends on how they deal, like, how the developers program the, like, how they do damage when it comes to, like, right. vehicle damage. Because, like, does your speed matter? Does the vehicle type matter? Because I, I assume there's going to be, like, while not officially maybe, but, like, light, medium, and heavy vehicles. Like, you know, like a Jeep being a light, fast one, a tank being a heavy one. And, like, an APC being a medium one type of deal, you know? Because I yeah. assume all the mechs are going to be... They're not going to be super spat fast. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I think some of them are going to be built for just like offensive and just staying placements <clears throat> kind of thing. Yeah. Which I, I, I'm still just, oh, I just can't wait. Yeah. I, I'm I interested to see what they do. I, 
I thought it was real because I saw all these different videos. They're probably. I don't think it's real. I don't think it's real. I want it. I want it so. We know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen, and that's like the big. That's like going to be like the major update coming up. Is eventually they're going to be adding vehicles. It's just we don't know how, we don't know when, and we don't know. For Super Earth. Yeah. Okay, I'll come. Keep talking for a minute. I need to go. I need to get more tissues. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll see you in a minute and chat. Okay, so one thing I, I've uh, what was the thing I was gonna mention? I was gonna mention the whole. I do love the one level progression thing we did talk about because while you do gain levels, you don't necessarily change your. You don't necessarily level up your gun like in all these other games where it's just a bunch of number grinding. All you do is unlock a new gun that you can choose. You get enough of requisition points to just buy another gun or unlock a new stratagem, something that you can test out and see if it works with your playstyle. It's not necessarily, oh, uh, you just power up your machine gun. Your machine gun now does plus 50 more damage or anything like that. No, you can swap out to the stalwart, which is just a more stable machine gun. An auto cannon, which is my favorite, my tried and true. Or the anti-material rifle, if you love to just take long shots. Although... I'm not sure how the. I still haven't had the time to test that out. I need to try out the anti material a bit more. I like. Oh, the sniper rifle. I haven't tried this. Yeah. I've tried the sniper rifle a couple times because it's Mm -hmm. one of the weapons that can appear in those things that you can pop out sometimes. That yeah, like the. But I don't actually have it unlocked because the problem is, is it doesn't do armor piercing. Yeah. So like that's the one thing about it that I don't like. Like if it was armor piercing, then maybe I'd bring it more. But like since it's not armor piercing, it's mostly made to kill the medium enemies. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it anti-material, not anti-armor. I kind of wish the sniper. Like if they literally did one change and they made the sniper armor piercing, Mm -hmm. I think a lot. I think it'd be more of a surefire for me to bring or like to consider. But I've never considered it because it doesn't do armor piercing. Yeah, I feel like maybe it might be, I don't know, if they did do it work at armor pierce, maybe it might just become equal to the railgun, if not maybe, yeah, probably about the same level, or maybe more, because I know that thing has multiple sh- uh, multiple shots per round, Yeah, and all I don't you know. need to do is just land headshots, pierce the armor, and then land a headshot, and then I mean, boom, problem solved. Yeah, I don't know. I feel yeah, like well. it's... I don't know. I personally haven't tried using it too much. It's a but, future weapon thing. They'll make something yeah. else in the future. It's also one of those things where maybe in like a four-man setup, a sniper rifle, like the anti-material rifle, was a very good... Like, for instance, the railgun thing, killing the mm-hmm. charger armor with the railgun, and then I wonder how many sniper shots it takes to kill that leg for the charger. Because if it's two two railgun shots and then one sniper shot to kill the charger, that'd be really good. I must test this theory out yeah, later. Yeah, because it's like one of those things where maybe it's a really good support weapon mm-hmm. for dealing with it once you get rid of the armor. Yeah. Actually, also try does it. the Bio Titan have armor itself? It doesn't have armor on the head, right? Mm, I think I it don't... has in the face, but not the... It's, well, obviously, the, <clears throat> on the body. On top it has, of the body. It has a lot of armor on the body and, like, the thing, yeah. right? So, hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta... Oh. Did you okay? Did you or have you used it or have you even unlocked the smoke? No, I've never considered yeah, the smoke. I don't think any. I don't think anyone's considered the smoke. The problem is, is the smoke in theory is fine. The problem is, is that you choose a smoke or any type of bomb, and the thing is, a bomb is better. Mm-hmm. I would say the. I I would say the only thing is maybe the smoke is better against the robots. Does the smoke hinder their accuracy? Maybe. That'd be cool if it did, but I, but I even never then, once tried it. Yeah, but I then, try it. but then again, would you rather hinder their accuracy or blow them up? That's the problem. I, I, I'd blow them up for five hundred jelly. <clears throat> yeah. I, I'm also. I also tried the gas one time, and honestly, I didn't see. I really didn't see it do much. I I yeah. wanted it to do something. <clears throat> the I problem. Really did. The problem is, is that the damage over time weapons aren't necessarily bad mm-hmm. it's just the other ones are better it's like the flamethrower yeah. the flamethrower isn't that bad in fact i actually i found a thing where I, apparently the flamethrower is actually if you just go blow by blow is actually the most effective way to kill chargers oh. uh because the apparently the charger is pretty weak to fire 
And if you just, if you're able to, per, like, the problem is you have to be really close to it. But, like, hmm. apparently the flamethrower is really good at killing the chargers. But, once again, it's a flamethrower, so you have to be really close to it. It's damage over time. It's arguably not as useful as the other things in more generics, like, uh, regular scenarios. Hmm. It's just like all the other things. Unfortunately, direct damage is always better. Because there's less variables. Because, like, what happens if you if you do enough damage with the flamethrower, but during that one second of burn time, he kills you? You know? Mm. <clears throat> it's one of those things. Where it's like, I understand. And it's also, I mean, it's why flamethrowers, in reality, aren't very good weapons. I mean, they've basically never been that good weapons other than, like... If there was, like, a retreat mechanic in any way, flamethrowers would be really good. Because one of the biggest things about flamethrowers is like it's huge morale shaker because like do you want to fight someone that's gonna maybe burn you alive any reasonable any reasonable being would probably say no so but you know that's not really a thing in most games yeah. like this isn't just a hell divers problem flamethrowers in general are just like a weird weapon in most video games and in most real life scenarios as well because it's always been more of a morale or like cool. like scaring it's more about being scared of the flamethrower than actually using it too bad too bad you can't implement uh, intimidation <clears throat> stats on a gun yeah a i mean that would be interesting but i doubt it would actually I, I honestly it's still probably even if it was like that it still probably wouldn't be enough i guess so <clears throat> i mean i feel like yeah i feel like for the if you were to implement some kind of thing like that for a flamethrower, say for example you fired at the bugs, they kind of like hesitate or stun hesitate, themselves yeah. for like a little bit before they try to leap at you. It could definitely work. Because with a gun, I mean, all the like, think of it like mad, like think of it rationally. If you aim a gun at a bug that has no idea what the hell it is, and suddenly you just fire at it, they wouldn't really know. They'd just be True. like, "Oh shit! Bang! Noise! Ow! Why am I hurt?" Yeah, That's yeah. It. You see fire, you're like, oh shit, fire, back. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it definitely is one of those things, yeah. Um. So yeah, I think, uh, I don't know about you, Alcon, but I think that is going to be it for today. It was a much shorter one, but I am not feeling 100% right now. And I figured we'd just talk about Hell Divers and that'd be an easy topic. Uh, okay. I don't know if you're going to... Uh, keep going but how why don't we what about we do shout outs for you first for yeah okay, the YouTube let me audience? shout out first so yeah for those of you who are watching thank you so much who we'll watch live we normally do this on sundays where we just do a uh, recording for from me on twitch you can catch on twitch.tv slash alchem games i am just a little tinuki vtuber who's trying to do more so i hope you guys enjoy I, you can also find me where I post random stuff on TikTok and on YouTube. I also just post random stuff like the models I make and any funny things I like on on Twitter X, if you want to call it. What it is now. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. I have okay. I actually have the X logo now on your thing too. So I know. Thank you for that, <laughs> by the way. But yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Variety streamer having is fun. Yep. And uh, my name is the Techno Jelly. I am on all the platforms call social media stuff with the Techno Jelly on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, and all those things. Uh, for people watching live, this will be uploaded to my YouTube channel tonight. Um, I honestly am probably not going to be streaming a lot. Like I said, I'm not 100% right now. I am sick. Uh, my whole family is sick, so I was at some point going to get it as well. So, uh, so yeah, I, uh, I will be uploading this later today, and thank you all for being here and watching. And hopefully I'll be well enough to be able to do it again next Sunday. But yes, next Sunday we'll hopefully be doing it. Thank you for all being here for episode four of Two Buds, One Comp Podcast, and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone. Later, guys.